What's good, pals? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to I'm going on a visual tour with you guys to explore the rich cultural heritage here in Kwame Nkrumah Museum in Ghana. So if this looks like a video you're interested in, please subscribe to the channel if you are Turn on your post notifications, like, comment, and share all the good stuff. And so let's go explore. Welcome to the new Kwame Nkrumah Museum in Accra, Ghana. This memorial park is dedicated to Ghana's first president, Kwame Nkrumah, a key figure in the country's independence. As you walk through the park, you will see the impressive museum where Nkrumah and his wife were buried. This architecture is a blend of modern and traditional Ghanaian design, paying homage to the Nkrumah legacy. <laughs> the park also features a museum showcasing Kwame Nkrumah's life and achievements, from his role in Ghana's independence to his Pan-Africanist ideals. Visitors can learn about the impact Kwame Nkrumah had on the country and the continent. Outside, you'll find beautiful landscaped gardens and statues, honoring Nkrumah's contributions to Ghana and Africa. It is a peaceful place to reflect on the history, honestly, and pay tribute to a great leader. Whether you are a history buff or just looking to learn more about Ghana's past, the Kwame Nkrumah Museum is the must-visit destination in Accra. Come and immerse yourself in a legacy of one of Africa's most influential figures. And the word is influential figures. <laughs> and so I would like you, my lovely crowns, to join me on a mesmerizing tour of the new Kwame Nkrumah Museum in Accra, Ghana. Explore the rich history and legacy of Ghana's first president as we take you through the iconic memorial park discover the significance of this site in ghana's history and immerse yourself in the culture and heritage of this vibrant nation don't miss out on this unforgettable experience so join me and let's start this beautiful place together the I would like to mention that the construction and restoration of the Kwame Nkrumah Museum in Accra, Ghana face various challenges such as finding constraints, logical issues, and ensuring historical accuracy in the restoration process. Trust me, this place, I was so happy to see it, but as we see it as beautiful as this, it didn't come just like that, okay? Organizations like Ghana Museums and Monuments Board, GMMB, and the Kwame Nkrumah Museum and Memorial Park have played key roles to bring this project to life. Their efforts in securing funding, coordinating logistics, and overseeing the restoration work have been instrumental in preserving the important historical site. So as you can see, this is the inside of the Kwame Nkrumah's car he used to use. It has been rebranded and it is so very beautiful. You are not allowed to go inside. That's what the kid uh, was told to come out. But this is how it looks. It's very beautiful. And I'm sure it's much more, um, looks much more beautiful than the previous one he used to use. And I'm sure wherever he is, he'll be proud. So enjoy this view of the car, the place, and then I'll talk to you guys soon.
Okay, so yeah, I'm back. Here at the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park, we honor the legacy of Kwame Nkrumah. So this is a key feature that everyone who visits this place takes a picture here to show that they were here some. Okay, so the key feature of Ghana's independence, it is, is this Kwame Nkrumah um, statue standing and pointing that forward ever backwards never <laughs> the sculptures and artifacts around us symbolize the rich history and culture of ghana so yeah i told you so these are people who came to visit that day and they are all gathered to take a picture isn't this beautiful if you haven't visited this park this video is a reminder to do well and visit this memorial park so that we all become patriotic citizens just like Kwame Nkrumah did. So yeah, this is a photo session of people. So enjoy. It will also interest you to know that one of the key moments that stands out during my tour of the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park is the unveiling of the statue of Kwame Nkrumah himself. The statue serves as a powerful symbol of Ghana's fight for independence and the legacy of this influential leader. It is an important and memorable moment that captures the essence of the museum's mission to honor and preserve Ghana's history. I'll leave you once again to enjoy this beautiful place and then this very well captured um, images of the building this is the building he and his wife were buried in and then i'll talk to you guys later now let me walk you through the sites at the kwame Kuma memorial park okay the lawns looked very well manicured with groups of trees providing a beautiful shade for visitors to park we went inside through the museum where the first president and uh, his wife at the in Kuma had been laid to rest we went through the museum and then we paid our respect to the first president and his wife Fatia in Kuma, where they have been laid to rest. After paying our respects and taking several photos of the iconic Forward Ever Bacchus Deva statue, we entered the Personal Journey Museum of Nkuma, which houses his childhood experiences, photos of his career and political journey, gifts given to him by former president and family, as well as furniture from his schooling days in Lincoln University in Pennsylvania. The trunk though, wow, <laughs> it was truly remarkable being so up close and personal with some of the photos, especially that of his mother, Nyaneba, weeping at his funeral. Honestly, no parent should bury their child. Her grief captured in seconds shot. The outer walls of the museum had such a gorgeous white reliefs of an ancient gold coasters going about their everyday life. This museum actually has a sign for no photography or video, but guess what some Ghanaians were doing inside? No prices for guessing though. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. Although there was no tour guide, each experience and display had a description besides its making itself explanatory. The architecture of the building reminded me of one of those white was Santorini houses. <laughs> so yeah, there's Santorini in Ghana, okay. <laughs> also, it will interest you to know the headless statue of our late president stood at the exit of the tunnel of memories and quotes. It was such a stark reflection of how the same crowd that heals you as a savior today can riot against you the next I'm sure Jesus can relate, Papa. Pa, pa. <laughs> Don't worry when you take kids there because there's a food and drink restaurant. The main restaurant at the park wasn't functional yet, but there was a snack bar at, at the picnic table area for snacking and lunching with the family. So we got some. Several persons had left empty bottles and left over popcorn kernels on the tables, which we had to clear for a hungry troop. <laughs> the snack bar was out of cold drinks so we settled for one month and to call our going hunger okay i highly recommend you carry along fine selection of snacks for your kids if you are planning on a family trip to the park 
hey my lovely crowns one thing i would like you all to note is as we walk you through the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park, kindly take a moment and appreciate the intricate details of the sculptures and artifacts that tell the story of Ghana's history. Let us explore together because that's the main reason why I went there, to take you there just in case you don't get the opportunity to visit this place. It's very beautiful and reflecting as well. So let's explore the cultural design there and reflect the cultural richness of this place. Remember, by maintaining these artifacts, we preserve our heritage for future generations to cherish. This beautiful mural or photo wall display you are seeing is a colorful touch to the park for visitors to take their best selfies and also for kids to run around a bit. <laughs> Park benches were beneath several trees for tired visitors to sit as well. As we look at these, I would like to take us through a brief history about what you have to know about this newly refurbished um, museum. The newly renovated and refurbished Kwame Nkrumah Park is truly a sight to behold, most especially after what it used to be. It's a sad a worn out edifice not worthy of the first president. But things have turned around and the Memorial Park is now thronging with hundreds of visitors from everywhere and at every age after the very recent renovations. Okay, so a little background on the refurbishment. The Memorial Park was closed for renovations about a year ago for improved commercial operations. This was finally completed and commissioned by His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado on July 4th. The park facelift was done at a cost of a whooping <laughs> $3.5 million investment by the, count, the, by the current government. The architect behind the design inspiration is Bethel K. Mamfi, who aimed at bringing Dr. Kwame Nkrumah closer to the youth because you, we saw a lot of youth there. The place is very attractive, so it actually attracts more youth and even the old as well. This is telling in the youthful and colorful morals and traditional symbols used around the park. It was a play date I had with a friend who took along with this kids and then we had a day actually. My friend had had in the past visited the park and was truly impressed with the work done to make the space worthy of the first president. The Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park houses the remains of Ghana's first president and his wife, Fathia Nkrumah, within the museum which was left untouched due to the timeless and everlasting marble material in its construction. I'm sharing our experience at the park this weekend, as well as useful information you will need to know if you've marked it down as a must visit, okay? So there was a parking lot, yes, and then we used Uber to get there. When we got to the ticketing, once we entered, we were taken a bit aback. <laughs> Before I continue, let me talk about this because it's really got to me, okay? Aside the rich history and culture the museum represents, it is essential to recognize the need for maintenance culture to preserve these structures for the future generation. Look at how dirty the fountain was. And visitors all over were trooping in, white, the Caribbeans, everyone wanted to see what we have here. And so I think despite the beauty of the artifacts, we must prioritize and then upkeep to ensure the longevity and cultural significance of this place. Look at the green um fungi. I was like, oh nah, this is we can do better. This is this is even the new one, okay? So look at the amount of money we spent um on this um project and so it has to be kept well so please i'm pleading with the management to do something about it so that we can preserve it for our grandkids to come and see when it comes to this figure here the underlying theme of the layout of this heritage site depicts the funeral celebration of a traditional ruler 
To the right, a man in the traditional toga is depicted beating the talking drum, uh, which is the popular instrument among the Akan groups of the southern Ghana. So the family that just passed didn't like the state of the water. I learned that these are seven traditional home blowers kneeling on each side of the central walkway pitched on flames within the mountain ports. Traditionally, the horn music is used for mourning in Ghana, especially for funerals of prominent leaders. So the horn they are holding um, means they are horn blowers announcing the demise of the great leader and to usher his attempts to his tomb. Yes, as you can see, the man wearing the fugu or traditional smock playing a chorus popular with the groups of northern Ghana and the Sahel, representing unity among the northerners in the southern part of Ghana. Yeah, so these fountains also um, from the entrance, okay, visitors are greeted by statues of musicians representing Ghanaian ethnic groups, demonstrating the importance of personality to whom the monument is dedicated. So all these statues you are seeing have meanings, okay, so yeah these are what welcomes the visitors when they come to the museum so enjoy so these and many more are what you need to know about the newly revamped Kwame Nkrumah memorial park it has a parking lot for visitors from everywhere and the entrance to the park is very busy with farm milk vendors artifact sellers and food vendors actually it was a bit chaotic and also let me continue my story when we got to the ticket end, okay? We were taken aback because there was a long queue out of the building. We joined the queue in the sun and it took about 30 minutes before entering. And three ticket counters were there. But one issuing one, which seemed pretty weird to me, okay? It was finally at 10 and we realized we had to let the ticket man, okay, know which level our kids were at. So the ticketing were arranged as follows. The adults, non ghanaian adults paid 100 cities, tertiary pay 60 cities, children pay 30 cities. And for a Ghanaian, adults will pay 25 Ghana cities, tertiary will pay 15 cities, GHS stroke and GSHS will pay six, um, 10 cities, and then the children are also paying 5 cities. They also had prices for events for a night up to 100 participants. When you spend first two hours, you are going to pay um, 3,000 Ghana cities. And beyond two hours, you are going to pay 5,000 Ghana cities. And when it's daytime, up to 100 participants, first two hours, you are going to pay 2,000 cities. Beyond two hours, you are going to pay 3,000 Ghana cities. And their working hours are actually from 8.30 a.m. to 11 uh, o'clock p.m. so they keep long over there let me continue my story we paid and got the main entrance which requires a receipt ticket and verification by another officer and once that's done your ticket card is scanned for you to enter the park the receipt verification stand should have been closer to the ticketing counter honestly to avoid any chaotic and confusion situation in my opinion Five likes, comments, and share, and I'll see you guys in another one. Peace out.